The friendships between children as they head off to preschool are some of their first relationships they have outside their homes. For children with autism, education today often provides a more inclusive environment, but there's still a long way to go. At one school, that inclusion has been in place for three decades, and it's a model that can create dramatic change in all the students. Sometimes it's tough to pick your favorite part of the day. This story is a lot like the last <laughs> But at Early Emory Center for Child Development and Enrichment, sometimes it's easy <laughs> to pick your favorite person. Sometimes he hugs me. That's two. Elise and Amiel get to cut those fingernails. Our best friends. And they're super pointy. Whose relationship? Well, I made the aerial picture for you. Yeah, I never took that home again. Delights all who know them. Well, she's four years old. Four and a half. No, you're four years old. You're just four. Oh. No, I'm four and a half. So Amiel is five and a half, and um, he was diagnosed um, with autism in March of 2013, exactly four years ago. Amiel, like one third of the students at Early Emory, has autism. Elise, like two third of the students, does not. Putting them together, they, they learn how to build meaningful friendships with peers that they may not otherwise be put in and be put with. Early Emory was one of the first places in the country in 1985 to create this inclusive model, one in which typical children and children with autism are together. The curriculum mixes developmental brain science research with early education practices. It's mixed into a day filled with what children want to do, play, and learn. Decades of research has shown that having models, typical kids, to imitate and learn from actually changes the brains of children with autism. And with that is changing the brain and developing new neural pathways or changing neural pathways so that they're learning to compensate for those deficits due to the autism. They're learning how to make those up and how to really get normal social interactions, normal language development. This exposure to incidental learning can lead to profound results. About a third of children with autism can eventually become indistinguishable from their peers with abilities to have meaningful relationships. For Amiel and Elise, it was simple. They liked each other. She liked me. The first time we met, I think we liked each other. I think the first time we met, we started playing with each other, right? Yeah. I don't know what day it was since we forgot what day it was, right? Could have been a Monday. I was thinking it's been a while since we've been to the park. Um, yeah, we but they do, do lots of play dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've gone to the park together. Yes. Amiel's mom, Rachel, says Elise were, is his first real friend. They were connected from like the first day. Amiel began by being a good friend to Elise, who was new last year. I feel like he did a great job of reaching out to her when she was new. That's so sweet. Yeah, and making her feel comfortable and helping her make friends. There's an honesty that happens in the best friendships. He goes wherever I go because he likes me. Well, sometimes I know. Friendships filled with bows and bows. Nothing left to prove, nothing left to prove. The research has shown something else. Typical kids benefit as much as the students with autism, but in a different way. Most of them are more empathetic. They're not as noticing of differences of other kids. They have a lot more compassion for people. And the research shows that over and over again for inclusion in general, but especially when they're including each other with autism. At four and a half and five and a half, these two teach us that despite differences, we can travel the same path together. Um. She hugs me back. Go! Run, run. <laughs> Kids don't see differences the way we adults do. A brief trip on social media these days shows you how divided we can be, which is why it's good to remember a simple truth. We all want friends. We all want to feel included and supported. In that way, Amiel and Elise are teachers reminding us that embracing differences opens doors and minds to friendship 
and happiness.